Okay, let's jump straight into it, Tom. What's STEAM? STEAM, so STEAM in essence is science, technology, engineering, art and maths. But then again, it's so much more than that. So what we like to do here at Regents with our STEAM program is we like to get the children to apply what they've learned in those five different subject areas and then apply them into a scenario with a real life context. So a challenge or a problem that involves them having to pull in aspects of those, uh, those subjects and use them to solve whatever the challenge or problem is. Now, case in point, behind there's a cooking lesson, and I know you're going to tell me it's more than cooking, and then you're going to show me robotics, right. two very different things. How does that work within the STEAM model? Okay, so yeah, you're right, it is cooking and it is robotics to an extent, but it's so much more than that because what the students have to do in those sessions is apply those skills into a real life problem. So right now they are cooking, yes, but what they're actually cooking for is their own business that they run themselves. So they have to uh, research how much the uh, ingredients cost. Then they have to work out, well, if it costs this amount, how much we're gonna sell it for. Then they need to market it and think about how they're gonna market. They're gonna then have to think about um, advertising. So there's all those skills that they're gonna need in the, in the real world environment and they're learning them right here in the classroom. The key things that they develop as a student is what from this then? Uh, that key curriculum information that we want to teach them, the specifics of science, technology, engineering, art and maths, but those important 21st century skills, things like collaboration, being able to communicate with one another, things that are so important in the real world. Um, being problem solvers, being creative, uh, being inquisitive and being curious. All of those 21st century skills that we want to see them uh, developing so that they'll be able to flourish when they leave us. Mm, okay, excellent. And, and I've not seen this before, so it makes me want to ask my next question, which is, do other international schools run such programs? In, within our Nord Anglia family, I've just recently come back from a, a STEAM conference in uh, Southeast Asia, where we had schools from, uh, Nord Anglia schools from Vietnam, from Cambodia, and from the Middle East came to share uh, good practice. And that was fantastic because we got to share and listen to each other's um, success stories and then try and uh, magpie take them and apply them into our uh, in, into our school here at, here at Regents as well as sharing all the good stuff that we're doing so yeah in answer to your question yeah within uh, Nord Anglia yeah now I hear that MIT are involved so first of all who are they and secondly how are they involved MIT is the Massachusetts Institute of Technology which is again this year the number one university in the world and they are the pioneers for uh, science and technology. So the students that they take in are some of the brightest students in, in the whole world. Uh, as a Nord Anglia school, we are in the privileged position of having a working relationship with them. And they provide us with uh, three different challenges each year, which only our students within our schools are able to access and take part in. And the students then get um, a bit of communication and collaboration with some of the MIT professors as well. Okay, excellent. Right, I think now I need to speak to a few of the students and sure. find out exactly how much they enjoy STEAM. I'm sure they'll be keen to do that. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, Natty, so what are you making today? We're making pancakes. Okay, and what, why are you making them? Um, so we can sell to like um, the students in primary and stuff. Oh, so you sell the pancakes and make some money? Yeah. Okay, and what's, what's the most fun? Is it making the food or selling the food? For me, my opinion is making the food because it, like you can make it and it's really fun. And like you can do a lot of var variety with it, like we can cut it, you can like roll it and like you can cook it and stuff. Okay, well it looks like you're having fun. Good, good luck selling it. Thank you. Thank you, Natty. So what do you need to make the robot do today? We need to make the robot try and like pick up those blocks or move them. And we need to try and make it turn nicely because at first there was a problem with the tire. So we had to try again. Ah, so even though you're on the iPad coded it to move, if you've not built the robot properly, you won't move properly. Yeah. 
Oh, it sounds difficult. But good luck. So, that's STEAM, and I've got to say, I really understand it. Rather than just teach education in individual subjects like geography, science, and cooking, this is about bringing all of those skills together, a little bit like in a real life situation, so the kids can understand why you need such a breadth of different skills.